PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, here we go. We got another uh, PSA submission, and I'm trying to remember. So it might have been a while since uh, I've been going through a bunch of these boxes, and uh, I'll be honest with you, a lot of the cards were not in the condition necessary for me to consider sending them to PSA. So this one's going to be quick because there's a bunch of uh, 87 Fleer in here, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the glare, guys. I was thinking of maybe, no, that's not it. Maybe back here. I don't know. I'm just doing my best, but just deal with it, I guess. Uh, 80, that's, God, that, no, that would drive me crazy too. So let me see if there's a way. Over here, back here. Good Lord, it's following me. Let's just do our best right here. Okay, I'm gonna do my best right here. 87 Fleer, a bunch of comments. Uh, Daryl Griffith, Derek Harper, Gerald Henderson, Cliff Levingston, all of these look good. Of course, that's not, a, I'm gonna try to sneak this in the middle. And so I'm doing something new on this PSA submission because I think <coughs> based on the order I'm getting these PSA submissions back, different graders are assigned to Jordan stuff because on the stuff that I've sent that's 50 Jordan cards, none of it's come back. But I've sent in four submissions after those first few Jordan submissions <laughs> that are no Jordans at all, and those are coming back quicker. So I'm thinking different graders are assigned to Jordan, and they're probably scrutinizing more. So I'm going to try to sneak some Jordans in and kind of mix it up. <laughs> Let me know if you think that's stupid or crazy or whatever, but <clears throat> we'll throw this one in there as well. Uh, and remember, this one I think has got an ink issue in here. You can see how there's a little bit of black ink. This is not going to grade well. I think it's going to be a seven would be awesome, but I think it's going to be a six. Uh, Nate McMillan, Chris Mullen, and these look good. I would not send these if I didn't think they had a chance at a 10. My goal is to get two or three PSA 10s. If I do, it's worth it. It makes sense. Um, just a bunch of comments. Isaiah, Isaiah sneaks in there. Uh, LaSalle Thompson, Michael Thompson, and then uh, I looked at the stickers. Man, the stickers are tough, and the PSA 8 stickers aren't worth a damn thing, but Bird looked worthy. Barkley looked worthy. Out of all the stickers, and I got the Jordan over here. The Jordan had an ink stain on the back that I got to research how to fix. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it. It's got like blue ink down at the bottom. It actually is a noticeable problem, but uh, the Barkley and the Bird, out of all the stickers, there's 11 stickers. The Jordan I'll send no matter what. And then the Barkley and the Bird are the only ones that look like they were worth a damn. I'm going to sneak a Jordan uh, Flair Showcase base in here. This is uh, row three. Uh, and I got the Kobe Flair Showcase row three. So I'll put those two together. We got the 97 Jordan and then the 97, uh, this is the 97 Tops Jordan, which is clean as a freaking whistle. This one deserves a 10, man. Uh, and then this is a Tim Duncan uh, Topps Rookie. Also looks absolutely impeccable. Uh, and then these Jordans, these are baby Jordans. So I would not send these if I didn't think they had a chance. So Tournament of the Americas, chintzy little hoops. Excited about this one because I think the Supreme Court's got a chance. And I kind of like those Supreme Court cards, man. Uh, Highway 99 looked great. This is the Upper Deck uh, Encore Game Dated. I think it's Encore Game Dated. I think that's what they call that. Uh, hoops Base. Uh, another hoops subset card with all the bulls on there. Again, not a huge card, but pretty cool that uh, they've got the big four on there, of course, with Stacey King. <laughs> Just kidding. Oklahoma legend. Uh, we got an Iverson uh, hoops rookie in here. We got a Kobe showstoppers. Uh, just the base. Don't get too excited. Nothing crazy sexy there. Just the showstoppers base. Not too much value there. And I thought this was a really good looking Jordan. Uh, this is the Orlando All-Star East selection. Uh, I thought that was a really good looking card. I had never really paid attention to uh, the fact. Well, it's probably because they printed like 30 Jordans in this year of hoops. Uh, and then a couple of the Catch 23s. Of course, the whole set was in there. These all looked perfect. So I've got these four Catch 23s. We'll take a chance. Uh, a Scotty Pippen. Um, uh, diamond dimensions, I think is what they're called. Uh, but this is not, this is like high dimensions, not the diamond dimensions. Obviously the diamond would be the die cut. So this is the high dimensions. It's serial number to 2000. This needs to grade high to be worth anything, uh, believe it or not, but pretty cool to have a serial numbered card from the nineties. Surely a Pippin collector is going to want these two cards. If they come back at eight. Yeah. If they come back at nine. Yeah. If they come back at 10. Yeah. I think a Pippin collector is going to want those two cards. Uh, and this one's a really cool. I've never seen it. It's a refractor. It's a, uh, Front court finesse, uh, even though Pippen's a guard, so whatever. Um, 
And this is a Michael Jordan, just a base uh, collector's choice. Michael Jordan, obviously we know this. I got two PSA 10s on these in a prior order. So I'm gonna run another one up the flagpole. Let's go for three, man, let's go for three. Uh, one of my favorite Jordan base cards in the universe. If I do a Jordan base hierarchy from the 90s, this one would be high on the list, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Just everything about it. A Kobe 96 Metal Rookie Fresh Foundations. <coughs> a Kobe SPX Finite. I don't know this very well. It's serial number two, 350. Uh, these may have already come back and maybe they came back ungraded or something like that. Uh, I've never seen this card, but it looked really good, and uh, there can't be too many of them out there. Uh, and then these things came in. I looked them up, man. If, if they get a PSA 10, they're worth grading. If they get a 9, I'm probably going to lose money, but some of these were just good-looking cards, and so we're going to see what happens. <laughs> just throw them up there, and uh, some low-end Jordan stuff there. And then a Shaq uh, Hoops. Shaq Hoops right here, rookie. That's it. Thanks, guys. Wish me luck at PSA.